Hello. Um, hi. I just got some Chick-fil-A. So we're going to hang out while I eat. And we're going to try to talk. Got some coffee here, down here from Chick-fil-A. See how that tastes. Hmm. That's okay, that's okay. Someone's walking past me. I get nervous filming. Anyways, hi guys. I haven't done a mukbang in a while. Now, yeah, I know, Chick-fil-A, I've already done this, but it's just right here. It's by the mall. I'm at the mall. Um, I have to go to Joanne's, so I'm just here. Actually, I had a free, uh, free like little card for this meal, so. Did I not bring? So, uh, I'm gonna try this egg sausage cheese. Just a little bit of that too. I'm gonna try to talk about some interesting things, but you know, I don't know. We'll see how how um, how full I'm stuffing my mouth. Oh, yum. Okay. Mm -hmm. this is good so I like the idea of these kind of breakfast sandwiches but a lot of places they're super dry and I mean I can add sauce but if it's dry from the start like it's just not going to be that good you know mm -hmm. this is good so how have you been These are my favorite little hash browns. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I was like, why is someone touching my car? I don't know if you saw that. It looked like he was touching my car, but I think he was just locking his door. I'm so paranoid today. Mm -hmm. So today's Friday. working all week pretty exhausted so I thought I would get out of the house and do my errands for a little bit it's there's perks to working from home work cooking from home but there's also you know some cons and it's like I have to get out of my house to be sane but but it's hard when you have so much work all right this. I swear there's a lot in here. It just doesn't really come out. Oh, that was a lot. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, I feel like you don't need to have sauce on here. Oh, I got real saucy. But Chick-fil-A sauce is so good. Hmm. So what's new with you? Um, not much is new with me. But, you know, some of you might not know that that last year I got to meet my siblings for the first time. I have three siblings that I just found out about, well, probably like three years ago now, but last year was the first year that I got to meet them in person. Um, my sister, she lived in Albuquerque, so, um, you know, not, I live in Portland, Oregon, but my two brothers actually live pretty close to me in Salem. We just never got the chance to 
meet um, until last year. We both have kids and, you know, busy lives. But, but yeah, um, so I, here I'll just give you a little story. I grew up my whole life um, not knowing my biological dad. And like three years ago, I finally decided, okay, like I, I want to find him. So um, I did 23andMe, that test where you can find out all kinds of things about your, D your DNA, your genes, your all the, all the crap. <laughs> and you can get connected with like family members and stuff. So I did that thinking like, oh, maybe, maybe I'll be able to get in touch with him. Well, I could never figure it out, but there's this Facebook group where people love doing like family trees and things as um, like a hobby. And they can use your 23andMe results and like plug it into all of these other websites to just get a lot of information. And so I got this lady to help me with that. And one day she was like, well, I kind of figured out where your dad was, but I also got in touch with your, or not in touch with, but I also think that I like tracked down your siblings. I was like, what? For some reason, like I grew up my whole life, not really even thinking about the fact that there's a chance that I have siblings out there. I don't know why. Um, yeah. I guess my mom, I don't feel like she really talked about the possibility of that. So I just never thought about it. Um, and little, a little bit on my biological dad. Um, he was in and out of prison most of my life, so that was one reason why I never really wanted to like reach out to him. But then when I realized that, you know what, like I still, I need to know who he is kind of to like, just get that out of my head. So, um, what was I saying? <laughs> um, oh right. So anyways, I think at the time, I can't really remember, but when she found my siblings information, I think my biological dad was maybe in prison still or jail. Basically, I ended up getting in touch with my siblings first and kind of decided I made the decision that I didn't really want to know much more about my dad. And I've been pretty happy and content with that decision. I mean, it's a hard decision to make. I can always change my mind, but regardless, it's been pretty amazing having my new siblings in my life. And honestly, so fulfilling and they're awesome. I don't know one of my brothers very well, but I know my sister pretty, pretty darn good. And my brother, we talk pretty regularly. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, just a little bit on that. <laughs> hmm. I still remember the day when this lady that helped me gave me my siblings' names, and I found my sister on Facebook, and I still remember that. It was New Year's Day, and I messaged her, and when she messaged me back, she was like, me and your brothers have been looking for you, like, our whole lives, and I was like, what? I don't know. That was, like, one of the best things that I probably ever could have heard. Because I didn't really know about them, but they knew about me and like wanted to find me. And 
I don't know. I still think about that. It was pretty special. This isn't that good, actually. I mean, it's not gross. It's just not... I like... There's not much flavor. There's so much ice, but it's okay. A little caffeine, I guess. So, anywho. Yeah. That's, that's that story. So, anyways, what are you guys doing this weekend? I'm working. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't actually know what I'm doing this weekend. Hopefully something fun. Mixed in there with work. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, this is pretty good. Although, I'm getting real full. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did they honk at me? It's this big mail truck. I was like, am I in his spot? But, hmm. This is an eventful parking lot. I thought it was going to not be so eventful. This is a really large piece of egg. Mm -mm. Too much. Well, anyway. It is good, but <clears throat> the egg by itself is too much. So I'm going to take it off. Whoa. It's really thick. That's what she said. Alright. Yeah. I think I'm pretty much full, but... Yeah, so, anyways, I don't know if I made that story confusing, mm -hmm. but... Basically, thanks to 23andMe for helping a sister out find her siblings. Although, the lady who um, helped me, she really did a lot of work on the like family tree. And I don't know how the heck she... like She would ask me information, but I didn't have to give her that much information. Um, she definitely used a lot of the information on... 23 and me and I know that some of those DNA testing things I know some of them like come along with like a family tree option but I don't think 23 and me did which is why I think she was able to like somehow take my some coding information and insert it into some other DNA website to get more information I don't know Hmm. But yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Just making sure it's not expired. Um so I really don't have time to I'm not sure what I was doing here at the mall. Oh, I have to return something. Then I gotta go to Joanne's, that's right. Well. Wow. Yeah. No, oh, I forgot. That's fine. Well, um, I don't upload a lot on here. Actually, I filmed a mukbang, like, a couple weeks ago. And I accidentally, the, the, it was just awful. Like, it was at a weird angle. And it was, like, down here. And I was like, I can't even upload this. So. <gasps> but, no. Yeah. Hmm. Well, now that everyone around me probably thinks I'm a weirdo. I actually just came. They're not even paying attention to me. But I hope you have a great day. I miss you. And I'll see you soon. Bye.